everybody. My name is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round five of the Hoth Galactic Championship Qualifier. This is the seventh of eight qualifiers letting, leading into the battle for Alderaan. Today, I am joined by William Hagwood on commentary. Good evening, everyone. We got Jason Grimm on stats. And stuff. And we have also my man, James Ritter, on also stats and stuff. And I'm, training. I'm just here for a good time. <laughs> All right. Well, today we have Lee Holland versus Mike, a.k.a. Maui Thompson. Uh, both players currently 4-1, brought 200-point lists. And I am very... Curious on your guys' thoughts on these lists. Will's going to break it down in a moment. But what we have is a choose your champion opportunity here in a couple seconds. If you are watching at home later on on YouTube, you're going to put it in the comments down below. But not before I tell you about our sponsor, Curled Paw Creatives. Use coupon code GSP2021 for 15% off. If you want to get that casual play 12-round counter painted up like the Death Star countdown that you saw in A New Hope, they have those. A couple of other styles, more basic ones as well. Uh, but that is one of the newest products there at Curled curledpawcreatives.com or just look up curled paw, craw, creative, curled paw creatives on Etsy. All right, Will, it is time to break it down and it is time for the fam to choose their champion. All right. Let's start with Lee Holland's list here, the Galactic Republic. Uh, yeah, Galactic Republic. It's still, it's still the Galactic. I meant to say Grand Republic. Anyways, doesn't matter. Republic, nonetheless. We got Jedi. Uh, we got four of them all in the new e, uh, Ada to Actis ship. We have uh, Anakin, Obi-Wan, Ayla Secura, and Shock T. So, big story with these uh, Adas is they, they lost their Kanan recently, but in return, they uh, had a points reduction. Um... So much so that now you can run four of them with upgrades as well. So we see Predator on everybody and Obi-Wan Kenobi with Patience. Uh, is it because his picture is on it? I don't know. Probably. Uh, so there's some interesting synergies between them. All of them are semi-support uh, abilities. We see Shakti can hold on to uh, focus or evade tokens by spending the Force. Um, we have Ayla Secura can modify blanks to eyeballs um, when an enemy ship at range one of her is attacking. And then um, that would be on the defense. On, um, I'll just read the ability. It will probably never come up, but let me read it. While an enemy ship in your front arc at range zero to one performs an attack, the defender may change one blank result to an eyeball result. So basically, if she's at range one of an enemy, she can change a blank to an eyeball. But it could be anybody those people are attacking. Uh, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker have a combo uh, move here uh, where they both of their abilities work with each other as long as they're within range three. Anakin can remove a red token of your choice. It could be stress, strain, uh, even an enemy lock. And Obi-Wan, if either one of those two moves into range one and there is more enemy shifts than friendly, you can spend a force to get a focus token. A lot of neat synergies there. We see them paired off here. <laughs> oh. oh, excuse me. Salud. Sorry. Sorry about that. <laughs> Will, uh, are you okay? I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> you got to talk about these Jedi. Caught me up. Uh, but yeah, we see him paired off there. Ayla and Shock T uh, off in one direction, and Obi Wan and Anakin off in a separate direction. Obviously, those predators are going to give them that reroll in their three dice bullseye, and patience can give Obi Wan force back um, if he ends up spending too much of it on either the intuitive controls, which are system phase boosts or barrel rolls, or uh, his ability to help himself and or Anakin. 
On the other side, though, uh, we have Maui flying a lot of the new... Um, well, I guess it's just one new upgrade. Applying a new upgrade, that's Compassion on Leia Organa in the Millennium Falcon. Uh, Leia has an ability uh, to let ships at range 0 3. If they do a red maneuver, she can spend her force to either receive a focus token or recover one force charge. Uh, so that's very cool to see here ran with more Jedi, or f rather, force users. Um, to see that recover one force kind of sharing ability. Uh, Compassion is the new upgrade here, uh, and I'll just read it word for word. We got shots already? Who's shooting? Uh, it, it was, um... It was checking, checking the arc there on Shakti. Leia. Yeah. Yeah, it was Leia shooting Shakti, no damage. And Shakti is now shooting back at Leia. Yeah, deciding if he wants to spend force or not. Pew pew, and gonna spend for two. Choose violence. That's two hits, I promise. And two agility. Oh, all right. You're going to get one. It got you something. All right, well, drained uh, Shakti's force and is going to prevent her from keeping that token at the end of the round as well. Uh, just for the shield off of Leia, doesn't seem worth it to me. All right, so anyways, let's read the Compassion together. Compassion. Before, another friendly ship at range 0 to 2 would be dealt a face-up pilot or crew. So pilots are like panic, wounded, blinded, and stunned. Mm -hmm. If you do, that damage card is discarded instead. And you are dealt one face-down damage card. Then if you have two or more damage cards, recover two force. So Alea only has one force, but uh, essentially the ability is free then uh, once you've taken your second damage card. Yep, two or more damage cards. Uh, okay. It has hull upgrade to be holding on to a lot of them damage cards as well. It could, could be really useful to help save uh, Luke or Ahsoka from a damaging crit. Right, yeah, um, what did I say? Stunned, wounded, blinded, oh, or panicked. Yeah. So it, I can't save like a direct hit. Yeah. There's only four, mm -hmm. right? Because uh, Kylo, Kylo picks out the panic, or uh, the, not the panic. Kylo picks the pilot cards with his, I'll show you the dark side ability. Yeah. So I think that's all of them. If yep. I'm missing one, let me know, champ. Um, you uh, no, you said there was. You said panic, panic stun. Stun. Uh, oh, yeah, that's structural. Yeah, there's four of them. Okay. Blinded. Bl oops. Did I just trigger it? No. Blinded, panic, stunned, and weapon. Uh, and wounded. Yeah, you got it. Wounded. All right, perfect. So Nailed we'll it. see if that comes into play. Now, the original card is totally discarded. So if that's, uh, say. Um, Ahsoka Tano, you could actually save her because she only has two hold then. So that card goes away. Leia takes it. It's kind of like uh, a really limited force selfless, actually, mm. where you're just taking the damage for the person. Um, in this case, you don't even need to take it as a crit. You just take it as a face down damage card. So that'll be interesting to see if we can ever get that compassion to trigger. It is only one point. Um, and with the, uh, what do I want to say? With the amount of conditions on that actually triggering, I can see why it's only worth one point. Uh, so move on to the rest of the list here. We got Luke Skywalker, classic X-Wing here. Recently went down a point and has the ion torpedoes uh, for that long range control uh, munition. We have Ahsoka Tano, uh, who can coordinate ships uh, by spending the Force, giving them an action even while stressed. Uh, and she's utilizing instinctive aim and proton rockets as well. Um, very interesting to see a ship that could like boost lock and then still shoot a proton rocket uh, with like two Force and the target lock. Uh, so super cool if we could see that. Um, and uh, of course the the ability to coordinate either one of these two, um, because they're all I-5 
uh, Ahsoka can uh, coordinate ships before or after they move. It's mm. giving a lot of flexibility there. I like it. So now, who do you think has the advantage in this matchup as Luke comes in for a target lock? Um, man, it's close. Uh, the Jedi's three agility um, is so certainly they're all going Jedi. To... Mm, <laughs> Ahsoka was a Padawan. Luke just kind of named himself a master, and Leia's <laughs> not no Jedi. <laughs> Yeah, right, and I think even I think a, I think a, I think Ahsoka also makes a point to saying I'm no Jedi. So yeah, she's she is no Jedi. So uh, and yeah, yeah, Luke's just like I'm a master. I talked to, <laughs> talk to, talk to a frog <laughs> puppet in a <laughs> swamp for a couple days. Who's who's gonna say I'm not? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah pretty much. Fair enough. Fair if enough, you, Luke. If you've watched the if you have watched the. Lego Halloween Star Wars special that came out yesterday. There's a, there's a pretty pretty good dig in there. Enjoy. Uh, it, it was it was entertaining. I suggest. <laughs> not quite right. ten out of ten. Not as good as the as the Life Day one, to, in my opinion. <laughs> Life Day, jeez. But uh, but still pretty solid. All right. We see a, an Ahsoka pr uh, trigger here, giving Leia a lock onto Obi oh, Ayala. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Ayala bumped, so no evade token for her. So it's got that two force and four agility at that long range. Um, I don't think either one of these lists actually has a oh, significant I, I, advantage, but I, 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 I think the rebels definitely do. You think so? Oh yeah, because I mean, Anakin's gonna get a uh, ion here. It's gonna be real sad. Maybe, maybe. We'll we'll find out here soon. They got two hit crit. I mean, I'll say this much: two that, uh Obi Wan and Ayla moving before the yeah. whole squad is rough. Yeah, I think if, if that had been if that role had gone the other way, I think you might have a better. It might be it might be different odds here. Yeah, but I, I still think it's like forty five. 55 you know what i mean like the the initiative pushed it over the edge uh this is luke dropping both force to not take any damage and that's right Ooh. no thank so you make that ion torpedo not hit as hard yeah see if ayla shoots at him or leia gonna go for leia keep that uh farm boy at no force and uh, she blanks out All right, so we have Leia coming up now. Range three out that tur turret arc. Three dice. And that's going to be probably only one going into Ayla Sakura. Going to spend the target lock. Hey, you were hey, able you to convert for three. Not single force on Ayla. No big deal. Mm -hmm. Turns out force may be still good. Maybe. <laughs> always, always has been. <laughs> yeah, in, insert, uh, what is it, the uh, astronaut meme or whatever. Yep. Uh, double blanks there by Ahsoka. All right, here it is. The big shot, Ion Torpedo. Yeah, this could set the rest of the game. Or it set, set the tone for the rest of the game. All right. Luke into Anakin. Two hits. Spend the lock. Luke doesn't have any force available. Ooh, you got the full, full string. We do need double blinks here, though. No, nah, oh. not going to happen. Okay. Force plus evade means just a single damage. I mean, I say just, but I mean, that is a pretty significant amount. Uh, obviously, when those, those ships only have three hull. Down to two. Yeah, yeah, the ion eyes would have been a proton rocket and a range one from Luke next round. So. Oh, gosh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so probably good that that didn't happen. Uh, don't don't spend here. Yeah, this yeah. is this is um, not Who's not a great team? opportunity. Yeah, with with the with the with, with the, the cloud. proton rocket out there, I think you're absolutely right, Will. 
that's a huge deficit for uh, the the actual Jedi over here, like having to dodge that procket. Um, well, it's just because they move first. Moves. Like, well, yeah. Ayla and Obi Wan. Um, but but now they have now they're just amazing blockers. Like, so it, it, it's hard to say. Well, they, they're still amazing blockers even if they don't move first because of the That's true. intuitive controls. Intuitive controls is incredible for getting some crazy blocks and then moving after. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Confirm it. Confirmed. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, there's so the one flaw for the rebels here is that um, Leia is flying towards a corner. If these Jedi can all get their bullseyes lined up on Leia for a turn or two, mm -hmm. uh, can really uh, lay some heat into that one agility ship. Yeah, you know, we did earlier today, we did see um, some droids, and those those guys only have two die attacks, uh, take down a decimator in two turns. So it's possible. You're saying there's a chance. Always. Yeah, there's... Um, talking on chat here about how Luke and Ahsoka aren't going to take damage from two dice attacks. Yeah. I and, agree. Yeah. It's going to be hard for them to line up these bullseyes um, on these more maneuverable ships. The, the only thing Luke loves more than not getting shot is getting shot by two die attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Yep. I mean, pretty easily able to shrug that off. And additionally, it you end up creating this kind of cycle where you're just like, oh, I'm consistently at two force. It's so good. Absolutely great. Now, one of the things I want to remind you of, tomorrow we'll be back with the top 16 of the Hoth Galactic Championship qualifiers. So make sure to tune in. That means we're going to have four games set up tomorrow, and we will crown our Hoth Galactic Championship champion. Should be good. And, of course... In a couple weeks, in October, we're going to have the Scarif Galactic Championship Qualifier. That's October 23rd. That is the last extended, the last extended qualifier, or the last qualifier altogether, before we get into the Battle for Alderaan. November 6th, this is going to be the culminating event for all eight of our qualifiers that's going to be a, a bit of a narrative event where the results of the event will affect future prize support here at GSP. And uh, we're going to be kind of... My vision from the beginning was that battle for Alderaan was going to be kind of a what-if style storyline that we're creating with, uh, with this with this event series so how you play will affect the story should be fun so we got ships on the move you see them trying to converge here on leia yeah uh will how, how do you say how do you say ayla's name i'm just skipping most of those layers and saying that ayla <laughs> You're I, 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 gotta, I gotta stutter and say uh Allah. Uh uh Leia. Uh Leia. I say a I say Ayla as well. Ayla. I say Ayla secure. I think. Ayla. Ayla. You're not pronouncing the Y then. Yeah, I am. It's it's just thrown in there. I think I think I think it's actually Ayla. <laughs> Which I think Dion is right. Is that, that's yep. what Dion said, right? Uh, yeah. That is exactly I what know. I said. <laughs> that's exactly what I said. You can't, just, you can't just put two and a half vowels together and expect me to know what that means. <laughs> yeah, you can't just like throw all those vowels together. And sometimes, why? <laughs> yeah, that's half a <laughs> Leia moving up here, and it is her turn to go ahead and check for some locks. Gonna Is go that ahead. Leia and... or Alea? Nice. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dion, quick, uh, as you were talking about Alderaan, uh, will uh, the restricted or and or ban list be used uh, right away? 
I'm going to go ahead and put it as a I reserve the right to delay my answer to that question because I don't know. <laughs> Fair enough. It's the, it depends on – we, because we, what we don't know is I, – I don't have the full information, right? We don't know how it's going to be formatted. We don't know what the vision is for it. Are the ban lists only for, like, narrative, like, missions? Or, it, like, you know, there's uh, – there, there's too many questions there right now, so my 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 answer is, if it is just kind of a, a hyperspace esque type of presentation of saying like here is the list, um, then that's a, a, a maybe, but obviously if it's for you know only like missions, then it's a no. So right now I don't know. It depends on what we see. I haven't. I have zero inside information on on that. So I, I have no. I have nothing to to base my my decisions on right now. I got I got as much info as you have, which uh, for <laughs> okay. all y'all out there is not very much. All right. So assuming it's not a total rehaul, uh, a possible overhaul. Well. To tomato potato, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, we saw we saw Obi Wan's ability used with Anakin Skywalker there, so he does have a focus token. You know, bumped into Luke. Only a single hit coming in there from Ahsoka. Man, I'm su- I'm surprised that he went into Ahsoka. He had the bullseye on Leia. I was about to say that that I think we have three. Man, Man just maybe two. just trying to burn down Ahsoka, maybe. Yeah. She she's a great ship, good coordinator. Hit crit, looking at Ahsoka from Obi Wan. Natties, yeah. there we go. Yeah, Here comes Ayla. One hit. I did some stats and stuff, and uh, that is the correct pronunciation. There it is. Telling you that and stuff really makes a big difference. <laughs> Wait, which one was right? Ayla? How uh, Dion just pronounced it is yeah. correct. A- a- Ayla. <laughs> He's not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> Ayla. Ayla. All right. Here we go. Ahsoka firing now. Yeah, I think I think you just saved the force, right? Yeah, there, yeah. there's no reason Time to, to spend right now. Yeah. The the funny thing with this with this fight with so much force being out there, <laughs> what you're what you're waiting for is for a mistake on the other person and for somebody's dice to just kind of blank out because they're always gonna have modifiers with the force hanging out there on on literally every ship on the board. Yeah. I mean Leia's Leia's the worst off because she only has the one force. Mm-hmm. But she's also a three dice turret, so and only has one agility. Yeah, one of each. Here comes the target lock. You got three, Man. one hit, two crits, and that Boom. is not gonna happen. You were hope hoping, hoping against hope there. Yeah, in this fight, people are gonna have to just start out dicing their opponents. Yep. Yeah, eventually, eventually you know. these these green dice will fail, right? Eventually, they just have to fail at the same time that the green that the red dice succeed. That's a problem. It's like they they got to meet up somewhere. Well, well, look at it. So like, oh, oh, Shakti is gonna drop both here. No, <laughs> to Spock and Natty. Oh! Like, no. whatever. Spend two uh, Natty two. Okay. Yeah. Well, take a look at the middle Jedi here. Uh, evade on Ahsoka. Evade on. Mm-hmm. On Shakti, evade on Obi Wan. Yeah, I Anakin I most just... certainly would have evaded uh, as well. Like no, no one's really pressing for like a, a strong offensive push here just yet. Um, but Leia's trapped in the corner. The Jedi have encircled um, the way she can go. All yeah, right. so it turned in. To head off Anakin, but did not pay off. What's, what's this the Tapusk thing? 
Tapusk. 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 That sounds familiar. Tapusk. That's a pilot? Tapusk is a hawk who stops you from regenerating your forests every other round. Ah, yes. Is it every other? Does he only have one oh, charge? Oh, yeah. That's a thing. He's, a, he's an I-5 cheap hawk. It is every other round, unfortunately. He can't just, like, shut down a force user, which would be really awesome. Like, no. <laughs> but I want to... Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, before, in, during the phase, before an enemy ship in your mobile recovers a charge or a force, spend two charges, and that ship does not recover that, that charge or force. Oh, man. Could be, could be interesting here. Now, the real question, does the three talon from Luke stay on the board? I think it does. Oh, he's got especially that all day. The, all day. Clearly. Yeah, a little bit day. of movement. All day. all day. And then he goes off the board. I mean, do you, do you go towards Leia or away? Oh, definitely towards, right? Well, no, do you want to be in the fight going? or not? Where is if... Ahsoka going? Uh, three. Sloop? E. The Mers yeah. are going just hard oh. to win. I like real close. Phil, Philip, Philip in the chat. Stop asking me all these questions. <laughs> Philip in the chat referencing some uh, some High Republic stuff. Nice, nice call, nice call out. I see you. I see you. Unless that's a complete accident, then you <laughs> accidentally reference something. <laughs> And accidentally correct is the best correct. Yep. I'd like to know if it was on purpose or not. Please let me know. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm sorry. All right. I, I, I just I, I I can't get into it, man. It's just it's too shiny. It's not enough grittiness. There are no accidents, only the force. All right. That, that doesn't answer the that question. That doesn't answer my question. Well, I'll just leave it alone. Do right, you here's, here's, to sleep tonight? Does, does Philip know or does he not know? I don't know. <laughs> it was his destiny to post that into the chat. It was. <laughs> what a, what? <laughs> All right, so I, I got to go back to this. So, James, so have, did you finish Into the Light? No, I couldn't even finish it. Okay. I'm, okay. Like, I'm like halfway through. I just need to power through. I power know I power to. through. It gets better. All right. There's a lot of world set up. And I will say that um, the second book, uh, not Into the Darkness. Um, that's, that's are, are you reading their YA novels as well? Oh yeah, Claudia Gray. That's yeah. that's my boo. Yeah, it's a great writer. Um, the Rising Storm, the Rising Storm, top notch. Like because because they they get all the world building out of the way already. Yeah, it's the the Rising Storm is 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 a better book in my opinion. <sighs> Goodness, I I I I don't I don't even have a book to read right now, and I just I, I that, that, <laughs> you're just that's looking at it on your desk like why well, don't want yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stop looking at me. <laughs> All righty. Uh, okay, I'll I'll do it. I'll do it, Dion. Do it for me. What What is the sequence of the books? Which Which one came first? Uh, Into the light. L yeah. Oh, right? Or light of Light of the Jedi. What is it? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. Light of the Jedi. Light yeah. of the Jedi. Uh, and then technically it's Into the Darkness, which is the with the young adult novel. But you can get away with not reading it, to be completely honest, if you just like the main story. And then it'd be Rising Storm. And then I would highly suggest. Listening to Tempest Runner, the audio drama, ten out of ten. I, is I la it only audio? It's only audio. Huh? Yeah. I'm kind of hoping the uh, storm caused a power outage into the darkness, and then they found the light switch. But <laughs> I see what you did there. All right, Obi Wan Kenobi. Yeah, he's checking for his ability. Yeah, not anymore. Uh, he was basically trying to see if Luke was at range one so he could grab a focus token or not. There it is. The T-Roll clearly and easily 
on the board, even adjusting backwards, yeah. never yeah. a I'm doubt. Just a fool. Yep, I'm just a fool. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did Ahsoka anticipate these intuitive controls? Let's find out. Well, I guess we're getting Leia first rolling around. It's got a possibly a range one shot into shock D range two at Obi-Wan. Also dodging all those bullseyes. <laughs> Ooh, just take a little lock. Come on. You but on who? Obi-Wan. He really hates Obi-Wan. I mean, there's a conundrum for you. Do you shoot at somebody with an evade? With three dice or... Wait, sorry, I said that wrong. Do you shoot at the <laughs> evaded target with four dice or the unevaded target with three dice? Which does more damage? They both have... Well, Shakti only has one force, though. Mm-hmm. Still an evade token. That's kind of like a force. And a, for, a force feel. for blanks. It's as bad. It's better, better than a force. It's a guaranteed use. All right, you really can't send these bulls at skid, yeah. Apparently, looks like she's oh, staying wait, no, right this there. Is range, this is range two. This is the coordinate. Oh wow! Gonna grab a lock for Luke. Where's mm -hmm. Luke putting it? I mean, this will tell you where, where the where the damage is going out to. I mean, do you take it on Anakin here? Or do you just could, focus fire on Toby? Could go on to Ayla. That way, uh, she stays out of the fight. So that means you're anticipating Anakin being in your arc. Oh, okay, there yep. we go. Ahsoka. So it's just gonna leave. Getting out. So again, her on ability is after she executes Ahsoka. a maneuver. Oh, and, oh no! Luke called it right with that Anakin lock. Still probably gonna get a. I mean, will Obi Wan spend <gasps> the focus here? He, he he can drop the lock and give himself a focus. Oh, yeah. If it's... he's willing to spend both force, does have both of their abilities. All right, so Obi Wan. There's yeah, there's the Obi Wan focus. Drop the lock. Yeah. Drop the lock. There it is. <laughs> yeah. Use the red token. All right. So we just saw a combination of both Obi Wan Kenobi's ability. All right. And then the less used Anakin Skywalker ability, allowing you to spend the force to remove one red token of your choice. There's some other conditions there, but that's the gist of it. Two hits, one evade. That's going to be a damage. First blood on the Luke Skywalker. I mean, he's still he's still very interested in this four dice, uh, two force attack on Anakin. Obi Wan didn't patience here. Would have expected yeah, was, it after would, that yeah. uh, that force expenditure. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Waiting for our next shot. Yeah, because he's yep. going to throw this just attack away anyways. Should have patienced. Patience allowing the Force user to gain a Force back for the cost of a Deplete token. Yep, super good if you're helping out Anakin a lot, doing a lot of those uh, intuitive controls. Now, here's Leia. Let's see what pain is she going to be able to deal. And when we're talking about the target between either Obi-Wan or Shakti, essentially what the evade token does is just makes it a three-die attack. Two hits, one focus, spend for three. And you're getting two through on Obi-Wan Kenobi. There you go. That's points on the board. Uh, the lack of force didn't matter because you, you drew blanks. Yeah, there you go, Peck and Bread. Points have changed hands. Okay, so now do you go range three into Obi Wan? Only has one force. I would do it. Or do you go on Anakin, who's got a focus token? You have four dice on Anakin, though. 
Don't Damn. miss, then. Pick your red dice advantage when you can. There we go. Four on three. Two hits. Spend for three. You're saying there's a chance. All paint would be alive. Ooh, takes two more. And Anakin is gone. Taken off the board. Chosen one. No more. Yeah, that is huge. Maui hasn't even lost half points on a ship yet. And I think it's only Shock T to finish off the round. I mean, uh, you could take the desperation shot into Ahsoka here. Yeah, I mean. It's range two to everybody. Yeah. I think Leia's only down one shield. Like, I think you actually keep going into Leia. You 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 have to get her off the board. You yeah, she's to. down one shield though. They still got thirteen more to go. Yeah, you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> you start at one and then he's, two he's and taking, then three. He's taking the risk on Ahsoka. <laughs> uh, it didn't pay off. No, don't even bother. He, yeah, he just can't he can't line up these bullseyes to get Predator online. Nope. And now the only person who was moving after all the fives is gone. So yeah, man, that uh, this is um, I don't think I don't think it de decided the game, but it certainly is helping one side over the other. Um, the moving first or uh, second. Yeah, but if he'd had sense on there somewhere. True. Then all these predators, I guess. I, mean, I don't think any of these rebel ships are making like unpredictable maneuvers. But that's what, yeah, you're saying they're not making unpredictable maneuvers? Yeah, I mean, we call it basically everything. I mean, Ahsoka, like, boost and barrel out, but, like, whatever. Also, since oh, it's, it's not hyperspace. Oh, man, so. okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, good. We have uh, Nick Sperry, editor extraordinaire in the chat, saying... Uh, props for Lee flying four Actus is pretty challenging. Can't even find one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there, there, there aren't many people who could fly four of them in in person. Yeah, I'm still waiting on my f initial order to come in. Yeah, I mean, there's that hyperspace ring, right? Everyone wants that hyperspace ring? That's right. <laughs> the Roche I feel like you can't... calls himself guilty of four actuses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's how you get them, Nobby. You just, br you just bring four and then watch your opponent get tilted because they don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, is, it is a legitimate strategy, guys. The Ada Flex. The mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I mean I bought two of them just because like obviously I knew what Anakin and Obi Wan's abilities were, mm -hmm. but like, man, those are surprisingly cool models. Walk in and just say like, ah, do I fly Adas or gunboats? <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. Let me go grab my K wings. Yeah, I got four gold painted K wings. It's fine. This. Don't worry about it. You get, you get gold ones? Gold painted, yeah. Oh, that's painted. <laughs> yeah, you know, flex. Uh, more like sparkles, I guess. Bejeweled, if you will. Mine are electroplated. Real gold, you know. <laughs> no big, no big, no big. Not showing off or anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's that does remind me. Someone's like... I was like, oh, you know, the banana wings. I'm like, what are you talking about? And they're like, oh, Naboo's, because they're yellow. And I was like, mine's silver. Uh, just flexing super hard on it. I mean, this is going to be a traffic jam here for mm -hmm. Lay in a second. Scooping up that lock now on Obi-Wan in anticipation of chasing him down later on. 
Oh man, the flare bumps here. Oh my goodness. Oh, the violence. Yeah. <sighs> gonna have a range one of Obi Wan. Prepare Ayla's the apps in the chat. To say about it. Well, Ayla will work on uh, Leia's shot. That is true, because it's not the enemy ship's arc; it's Ayla's arc. So we will we'll see it. Mark it down in history. Ayla's ability triggered. Yeah, I'm triggered already. And here we go. Four dice, two crits being rolled. That's going to be another one. Hit, crit. crit, crit. And it looks like Luke able to dodge two of them. Going to take just that second shield. That yeah, worked out. Worked out pretty good. Here is Ayla. Bullseye shot range one. Finally going to be able to use that predator. Or is he debating switching to Luke? Don't give Luke force. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. Two hits and a crit. Three hey, hits conversion. and a crit. All right, all shields down on Leia. Big money. Let's go. What's the half point threshold on Leia? Which what, what has she got? She's got a whole upgrade. <laughs> She's got a whole upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is seven. <laughs> These guys, they're always no. they're always just, just lying in but, wait. No, the, the whole upgrade doesn't even change the half points on this one. So no, it, it literally <laughs> doesn't deal. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Yourself. It doesn't matter. I'm just calling it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big money here by Leia, by the way. This is going to hurt. Yeah. Two hits and a crit looking at Obi-Wan Kenobi. There's a target lock. Oh, that's a full strength. Spend it. Guaranteed to take a crit and guaranteed to join the galactic, the world, the force. Oh man, and Ayla's ability gets to trigger I know. too. Ayla's gets to change the blank to an eyeball. Do it anyway. So do it anyway. Obi Wan can spend the force. He doesn't even have to spend the evade. That still takes one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, he just realized he's dead anyway. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I did the thing. <laughs> He did do the thing. So Luke doesn't even have to shoot them. I don't be one. Can you take a range one into shock T instead? Range one. Here we go. We got two hits and an eyeball. Reroll. Double focus. It's going to be three after the conversion. And it looks like all three are going through. No, I just got evade and force. Ah, uh, evade force. I wasn't sure. Sorry, there was so all the all the arcs are on right now. <laughs> so it's like yeah, what? this is this is Luke into Shakti. So it just takes one. Oh man, but the Jedi squad down to only five remaining whole. Two ships and a dream. And the yeah. two worser ships. Yeah, worser. Agreed. If that's a word. Wor worser confirmed. <laughs> um, yeah, Soka, I thought would be a liability maybe in this squad, but has really utilized uh, the, um, the, the double reposition to stay out of trouble and give out those support. Um, court, I always call them coordinates, but the support coordinates. Yeah, um, we, yeah, we might see the um, ability come into use here, though, or the uh, the the procket come in here. Might be able to get it off on Ayla. Um, well, Ayla can barrel one back in. Barrel out three bank, maybe. No, that won't work. <laughs> yeah, worse, wor worse ships, <laughs> worse Sire <laughs> ships. Yeah. <laughs> I, 
I, I think I think they should have worked cannons into the ship ability somehow. But I guess, I guess mm. they kind of did with the three die primary. And yeah, that's it, it. It is there. It just doesn't say cannon slot. You can't put more cannons. You're like, can we double down the cannons? No, <laughs> you cannot double down on the cannons. Single I mean, cannon I feel mode. like in real life, real life, you know what I'm talking about, uh, that they probably would have auto blasters on there. But in X Wing, oh, it's. No it's ion and canonically, yeah, right? Yeah, canonically ion cannons, yeah. That makes sense. Droids hate yeah. ion. Yeah, yeah, to like shred shields and mess up droids. That makes sense. I mean, that's what I was putting on them before. Ion cannons and uh Yeah, yeah cuz you, you you could take ion cannon and then patience and still get a two die attack. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm but you know, it just I I guess I'm a little surprised that in see is marksmanship and and the auto blasters together were an obvious good uh, thing. I just what I was thinking and maybe in, in testing the droid that also converts for hits plus marksmanship and the Ada may not have been used together. Yeah, like they are testing the V wings mm -hmm. separate from the Adas at that point in time. Right. Like that could be that that could would be a possibility. It, would it be cool if they came out with you know another card pack or something that gave them an esque ability, something like the the Nimbuses have for that mm. cannon? Okay, I could see that. Make it like bullseye only. Yada yada yada. Do damage. Do ion. Yeah, I'm also with Pecking Bread here that they should have swapped the ship abilities where um, the Delta should have the intuitive and the Ada should have the um, sensitive controls or not sensitive uh, fine tune. Yeah, I mean... It, it's the, it, the weaker ship should have the double reposition. I, but he, here's a question. You know, us as competitive players, we, we clearly recognize that moving like second is better, right? That the you know ha having normally, yeah. normally right in in most circumstances, and it's, th this all came at the same time as like sensitive controls, lots of different uh, system phase movements. So you know there there was I think the the value of the system phase movement was probably was potentially overvalued initially, especially with the I mean almost zero use of sensitive controls and really the only reason we're seeing Ada 2s is because they're they're priced right like they're cheap and they have the force but like where's 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 my interceptors with sensitive controls my my uh my silencer maybe one maybe blackout that's it but blackout's an i5 three hits coming in from Luke going to be able to avoid that Oh yeah, cheap, cheapish. I mean, they have the force. They can't. They can't be like basement bargain pricing. Yeah, I mean, it, and it does feel bad. Like what? Um, oh, who, who just said that? Uh, yeah, T Taco said, "Where heaven, for, heaven forbid, her public has a straightforward way to do damage." <laughs> yeah, every, everything's everything's based off of bullseye mechanics, unless you're an arc. I was gonna say, what about you know arcs? Yeah, just half health. Send red dice. <laughs> Have help. Send red. <laughs> <laughs> Through, uh, two double focuses. Probably not going to spend here. Uh, maybe thinking about it. Maybe thinking about staying aggressive. One hit. Hey, you got it through. Is that half points? That is half points on Leia. 41-105. You get to be able to score 41 there. Yeah, we, we've done the math here, guys. Are you sure? That's only seven, though. Yeah, it's it's. It should be seven. Yeah, yeah you got it. I see what he's doing. I'm not. I'm not falling for it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nope. What? No, it's a legitimate question. I thought it was seven. Oh, seven. <laughs> yeah, fifteen. 
I no, thought they had 15 it, health. They start with 13. 13. A whole uh, yeah, what was they? Were they a decimator? Jeez. Yeah, yeah decimators have 12. 12 hull. Anyways. She's halved. That's points on the board. <laughs> Plus one. Yeah. Yeah, just show, just show the whole upgrade, Jason. That's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you've, tra you've trained them well, James. <laughs> yeah. He was like, so what do I do? Just like show the whole upgrade? <laughs> he was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Not only do I have the emote, but now I can push the card. Uh, this is true. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think... The ships that are coming that will probably do more straightforward damage, as you guys were saying, we have the, the Gauntlet Fighter, right? Mm -hmm. that's, that's large base. And there is a potential. We know that the Republic is where the Z95 came out of. And mm. we've always looked at the Z95 as a two-die platform. Is there an argument to potentially make it a three-die platform? An you have argument to because I want it, Yes. But they'd have to give it some type of disadvantage, right? Like, I don't know what that is, but they'd have to make, give it some type of disadvantage. Like, why why does it get three guns? Maybe you lose uh, lose two shields, Ooh. gain two hole, and then uh, it's a four hole. What no you, shields, three die attack. What do you think about this? Okay. Uh, as a chassis ability, they get two or three charges, and you can spin those charges to roll an extra dice. And they're, oh, okay. and they're recurring, or no, uh, you they're just, just get, gone. That's gone. You get, your, I, you get your two shots, and you're done. I do. I do. All right. There's a joke there. I do. Okay. I do. <laughs> Watch your sentence carefully. Uh, I, I I do like non-recurring charges um, as like one one use one or two use abilities. I could like that. Like it's like a two two charge. Is that just, and is that just, just too close to just shooting a missile? Because they could just shoot missiles easier too. Yeah, but you need locks. Yeah, just tracer missiles. Or, uh, yeah, tracer's four points now. Yeah. yeah, and a couple people in the chat also pointing out the fact that in the Galactic Republic, those Z95s that canonically were oh, there we go were more beefy. That's, that's all we needed. Like a somebody says, like a wartime Loda. Yeah, it can be kind of like that. It was it was a beefy warship. Yeah, so, they really don't um, need a cheaper ship. They already have the V wings and uh, um, torrents. Uh -huh. Don't they have another cheap ship? What's the next cheapest one? I guess the Nubus aren't that cheap. No, it'd so, be really powerful, but I think it would be really cool if you could uh, range one bullseye dumb fire munitions. Mm. Like with a focus I mean, or what, something? I mean, what if you could just dumb fire them in general? Just like ignore the lock requirements or whatever. Hmm. I mean, that, that's what target synchronizer is, though. Yeah, we don't <laughs> have that in this faction. It's, it's too old. Oh, oh big money here coming from Luke Skywalker. <laughs> two hits, wow. two crits. The violence, double blank. That's three. Shakti's gone. It has the available <laughs> saver. And Ahsoka trying to see if you can also do some damage to Ayla Sakura, the only Jedi left alive. Ayla Sakura, um, the blue Twi'lek Jedi, if I'm not mistaken. Mm hmm. You're correct. Shakti mm -hmm. was a Togruta, just like Ahsoka. The Togruta, a very proud people. Here's Leia, one hit, two crit. I mean, you can't be shy when you got headdresses like that, Doom. This is true. Crit going in. 
on Ayla. It is a damaged sensor array. X. Well, there goes your evades. There goes your three position boosts and barrel rolls. I did like the uh, the stall tactic that Leia and uh, had used there to not move. Pretty smart. Friends, we call that a tactical bump. We have one more round coming your way after this, friends. Looking forward to see what ends up making it into the cut. How are the how's the first order doing with all, all of its new shenanigans? Are we starting to see or maybe you know what we haven't seen? We haven't seen any resistance Y wings make a splash. Uh there's there, no, there there's some there. in the at the top, yeah. No, there's yeah, something. only been swarmed or like a three piece with Zari in it. Okay. I mean, if you want to see you know, a couple of boosts in Y wings, well, you could oblige. Do you, um, how many Y wings do you want to see? How many? <laughs> I would love to see. I'd like to see some cool Zori play, some top level Zori play, somebody who's really figured it out. But you know, I want I want somebody who's you know that, that I need that bubble game. You know, we need that drama in the last round. So. Oh, I understand. Uh, looks like the the top resistance right now is a Wyoming Swarm with Jess Pava and uh, Nicholas uh, Blush Blood. I was Blanchetti, um, who we saw with that resistance Alpha Strike. And then uh, there's also Bradley Smith. Uh, he is running four of them with the war time loadouts and torpedoes. Mm. Oh, actually, good variety there for resistance. I don't see what's the what's the fourth resistance. Uh, I don't even see one. Thirty six. Oh, that it was that was Bradley Smith. And Carson Ray, I can guess what he's flying. Resistance. It's Lulo. Yeah, it's Lulo. resistance. It's definitely Lulo. Probably Jess in there. No, no Lulo. Po what? Po, Rose, three PO, Jess, and ZZ. ZZ, that traitor. <laughs> this Lulo is... went down in price too. Come on, <laughs> sell out. <laughs> Ayla only has a single force that's going to be taking a damage there on Ayla. Down to one hull. The Republic is down to one. Wait, was that the proton rocket? Oh, you didn't want to shoot it no. with no mods. Oh, now it is. No, that, this is this is Ahsoka right now. Currently two dice. Yeah, I, I would I would shoot the proton. Yeah, shoot it with no mods. Come on. Yeah, that's way <laughs> way better. One hit. No force. Safe. Yeah, I nice. would I would I would have shot that proton. It's the first bullseye Ahsoka's got all game. So yeah. Yeah. Also <laughs> shot it. For sure, yeah, 100%. I don't care if it's no. Actually, no, no, he didn't have a lock out there. He had the lock on uh, uh, Obi earlier. Man, he is one. He is two damage away uh, from getting. Uh, oh, never mind. Sorry, I did my math wrong. Hall upgrade? Question mark. I was gonna say, did you try the hall upgrade? <laughs> no, that was not it. All right, so we got Ayla Wait, boosting. Do you want the card on the stream? <laughs> Always, Ayla boosting in, trying to cover some space where Luke would likely be covering, and setting up a uh, an attack run on Leia. I would assume. Leia taking the turn. And Luke just does the one forward. Maybe thought it was going to go quick. Oh, this is greedy. Why are you barrel rolling? It's not going to half point. Yeah, keep you your points. You have one ship. No, you got to have good MOV. 
how about having a target? I'm sorry. That is uh, Maui. I do not agree <laughs> with the that play. Moves one away from being handled. Yeah. Don't yeah. Lose but, your points. But how yeah, about no. you just win the game instead? Uh, yeah, but but yeah, but in, to get into cut with five and one, you need to have good MOV. Like I B said, came right. here for pew pews. That's right. Violence. <laughs> well, Luke already had the lock, so. All righty. Okay. Well, okay. I, well, I guess that's. I, I guess that's I, okay then. I guess that's okay then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good game. Honestly, for a sec, I did forget the player order for a moment. So that that was mm -hmm. part part of my reaction. Sorry, Maui. I should have never doubted you. <laughs> well. All right. Forty-one to two hundred. Mike Maui Thompson takes the W. Thank you to ISO. Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.